When I think of island paradises, I think of West Australian islands, in particular up here in the Pilbara. But when I think of the fabled mackerel islands, well, it's been one place I've dreamed about visiting all my life. And guess what? Today is the day. I'm so excited. This place is amazing. I've already jumped the gun and hit the water with Art, one of the island's managers, to experience what's going on under the water. And it's blown my mind. This place is uniquely West Australian and it's a holiday experience you'll never forget. What else do you do here? Well, when you're not engrossed in the enormous number of outdoor activity options, you could be just kicking back in comfort in your beach side chalet or if you're on a budget in one of the club rooms. All the basics with a pool and a bar and activity centre to entertain when you can't take any more marine excitement. The cabins have every luxury you could want. They're spacious, air-conditioned, have their own kitchen with a fridge freezer and a brilliant deck space overlooking one of the best views you'll ever get. And they're powered by solar energy. It's one of the great things about the island's recent history with Chevron having oil and gas facilities on the island. It left them with an amazing solar power system, a decel water supply and a setup for anyone looking for the Glamp Desert Island experience. And everything operates in a special time zone, Mackerel Islands time. So relax, don't worry, be happy. It's the home base to one of the world's great fishing destinations. The waters around here are teeming with marine life of every sort, but the rugged landscape is something you can also explore. Or maybe you just want to be sitting and watching the sunset whilst the kids are playing on the beach. This is a uniquely West Aussie holiday experience and one you will remember forever. To me, that's the perfect holiday. Jade, I have just fallen in love with the Mackerel Islands. They are fantastic, but it's not all about fishing and diving, is it? It's a lot of wonderful natural environmental things. You know, the whales coming through? Absolutely. The whales start coming through end of uh, July. They start coming really close to the island on yeah. their way back down with their calves. Yeah. Um, we run tours from when we see the first whale um, right through until we see the last one. So that runs generally from end of July through to uh, October. From a practical point of view, um, there's a lot of people thinking, oh, I might actually go and do this. What happens when it comes to bringing food and, you know, some drinks and things like that along? Well, Can people bring them with them or is it all available here? Uh, we have a few different options. So we have a general store which yep. has um, a range of uh, basic staples, bread, milk, and uh, a few top-up items, or you can also um, order catering packages off, off us, and that caters for your three meals a day every day, and we just deliver that fresh produce to your room. Oh, that's a great idea. Jade, this is pretty special. We're very lucky. Sunset, casting out. I just need to catch a fish. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep on trying, eh? <laughs> the beach is alive with nesting turtles in January and February. The babies hatch and make their way to the water in April and May, and it's one of nature's great experiences. The Mackerel Islands have just reopened after many years of serving the oil and gas industry. Now, the good news is that flights here to Onslow are incredibly competitive. There are daily transfers out to the island from the Onslow Beach Resort. And this is a holiday that you will never forget. This is the perfect holiday in WA.